having a garage forecourt, we often get um, customers opening doors into other cars, even if they just pull up in their own car uh, next to one of ours and they open it up. You, you quite often get trolley dings on the, on the side. Um, we also, there's a school up there, kids leaning against cars in the morning, messing about, pushing each other. So we, we quite often get little dents on the, uh, on the bonnets. And, and other stuff that happens in, in garages. Um, we have the probably the world's best dent man. And uh, many, many years ago, probably about 20 years ago, I imported a load of dent tools from America. Um, thousands and thousands of pounds worth of dent tools from America. I think my original kit cost 8,000 pounds and, and my plan was I was spending so much on dents that I would benefit from having my own stuff. I'd train myself because nobody can teach me anything. I'm in one ear and out the other. And uh, anyhow, I, I practiced a few times and, and I remember one dent. It was on a, a gold Renault Clio and I got it at what I thought absolutely perfect. And I just leaned back to admire my work and I caught the dent tool with my knee and that, that poked a dent right in the center of the dent that I just repaired and, and meant I then, it broke the paint and I then had to have it resprayed. So uh, after a lot of cursing and swearing, the, the dent tools were retired. But now each dent kind of costs you 40 quid for, a, for even little ones. So I saw this on the internet uh, a little glue puller. Uh, again, I've still got a glue puller which I ordered from America, which which cost me hundreds and hundreds of pounds, um, and I, I'd never even used it. So I got this off Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. I've never used it before. I'm going to try now. Uh, here we have. It looks like something's hit the car in in a kind of a lengthways. Something's dropped on it, and there's kind of a line there. This is an extra tool which I bought because it was about 20 quid and you can actually see the dents better with it. And one thing I do know from my years of doing, doing body work is a dent that looks like so, when you start putting filler on it, is about so big. Uh, and when you start flattening it down, the, the repair ends up a lot, lot bigger. So this, the, the little dent is there, but I mean... We, in this kit you get a lot little uh, tools like so you get these to uh, knock dents down little tapping tools and you also get a selection of these as well there you go oops I've just dropped on the floor now because it's a lengthways dent I'm going to try and use this one, as you can see there. So the idea is I'll put it, the crease is that way, I'll put it along the crease and hopefully it will pull it out. As I say, I, I would have, my first thought would be to, to tap the high spots down, but I'll see how it goes anyway. Glue gun again, which is, uh, which is a, an extra cost, didn't come with the kit about three pounds and uh, we'll just put try not to squirt it on your hand because it is hot so I'll just put that down there's the dent there just while the glue's still oh there you go that's looks like it's right in the middle and uh, We'll just give that a short time to go off. And then as you can see there, that goes over like so. And uh, there's a little trigger mechanism here. So we'll just let it go cold. Still a bit tacky there. I'm trying to film it to the best of my ability as well. It is a little bit awkward having this there and the camera's got to be on the other side too so that you can view these lines. You can see from the lines the dent does spread out quite a bit. 
um, normally my head would be where this camera is so that's making it even more awkward so this this tool here as you can see there the legs there spread the weight so you can apply pressure here and you can also adjust it from the top just there so it comes up further if you need to pull the dint out further or it needs to go in further but uh, I would suggest that you just take it a, a little bit at a time and you don't pull it too far and stretch the metal so that that feels like it's on pretty solid I'll just put that on like so and I need to be pulling sideways and just tighten it up a bit so I can pull a little bit better just trying to see if it's moving on the lights there and it has done a little bit that's that's pulled it out that's pulled it out a little bit that's uh, I'm quite pleased with that for the first attempt so now I'm going to try with this smaller one and just put that right in the center The problem with this as well is that under here is a double skin. So I've not actually looked, but if it is attached to the double skin, then that will hold it in place. That should have gone off now, so we'll, we'll just give it another go. Over the top there. Just tighten that up. So we've got leverage right from the word go. You can see that actually pulling the metal and, and pulling. If I could hold it there now, that would be virtually perfect. So I'm just going to try and stretch it a little bit, bit more quickly. dent started off being about so long and we're now down to the, the little tight bit in the middle and it's it's probably in the worst place it could be if it was perhaps in a flatter panel somewhere it'd be all right but we're right on the strongest part of, of the bonnet really where it's it's curving in two directions going to try one of these lined ones here if I put glue up the middle and then put it on that line there we might just be able to pull it out so that's like so and right up the line just found the hot glue there with the end of my finger I'll probably save myself 40 quid for a, a dent man coming and then go and need skin grafts on my fingers. I don't think I could do this for a living. There's, there's too much waiting around. <laughs> okay, as with everything I do, I'm pretty impatient. So what I've done with this one, the other ones were coming off too easy. I wasn't waiting for the glue to dry long enough. So I've put this on, been away, made a cup of tea, and uh, I'm now going to try but the others did significantly improve the dent however this last little pull the last perfect little bit is, is just proving a, a little bit difficult and the uh, it was the glue was just pulling off too easy that, now that's better I, I should have left it longer previously because that that is actually pulling properly 
And I'm just going to adjust that down so I've got a bit more feel over it. Now, you can still see it. Let me just release this camera. You can still see it there with the aid of this light. But once you take the light off, and you move this away, you can see the high spot there. If I tap that down, I think it's gonna come out. 